Sunt eu așa, ala n-au. Remember this, and remember this always, brothers, 
salvation is for the Israelites. And we're going to show you today why the apostles went to these areas in the ancient Roman Empire. Fire out! Yeah, come here. Let me get Isaiah 45, verse 17. Fire out! Let me get Psalms 14, verse 7. And we're going to read these scriptures. Remember these scriptures, brothers. Write them in your notes. Let's read Isaiah 45, verse 17. Who's salvation for? Is it for the world? Is it for everybody? Let's find out. Let's read that, brother. God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Yahshua Allah shall be saved in the house. See that? Yahshua Allah shall be saved in the most high. How come they don't bring this out on Sunday morning services? Salvation is not for everybody. And I'm going to show you why the apostles went and did what they did and why we do what we do. Read that again. Uh, you yes, come here. Cut it. But that shall other shall be saved in the house with an everlasting salvation. Mm -hmm. It shall not be ashamed or confounded. Well, See that? Don't be confounded by what you hear in denominational churches. You be worried about what's written in this Bible. What's in the law and the testimony. Because we're living in a time when they're not going by sound doctrine. But they got teachers out here with itchy ears. And doctrines are what? Devil. Skip that off. Oh, yeah, come here. We went through that before. Get that in Timothy's. In Timothy's, it tell you that. Don't go by nothing else except what's written in this book. You understand? Because this is what our people problem is. Somebody come along to you, these so-called pastors and so-called line clergies over the centuries, and they poison our people's minds. But what they didn't do, they didn't bring you the proper understanding of this doctrine. For all the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, we're looking for our people who the Lord commanded us to go teach, the brothers and sisters of so-called Indian and, and Negro descent scattered throughout North Central and South America. But what is the problem? Let's read that uh, for uh, you coming here. Cut. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word. So we go, we do what here at the base? We preach y'all the word. That's why we come tell y'all to come to the Shabbat service. The Shabbat service is where you're supposed to come up in jobs, come out of the white man's empire, and you come in here in the secret places where the most high got you set up under your elders and the ministers. And you see the brothers on the screen, these brothers are coming up in the knowledge of the Most High, scattered through North Central South America and the island of the sea. I'm not the only one that know this. I work with those who know and those who don't know. Be you know. Be interested in the He said, be interested in the season of prophecy. Read. Out of season, be true, be true, be and doctrine. See, if a brother don't know what's in here, and he come in here, or you on the street teaching, and they say, God has a lot the word. You say, wait a minute, brother, where is that in the Bible? And get that brother a Bible. And show him, where is that in the Bible? But you stick to what? Read. And the time will come. When they were not endure sound doctrine. And we're in that time right now. They will not endure this sound doctrine. What's written in here, precept upon precept, line upon line. They're not going by what's written in the Bible. They're going by what's written in some church pamphlet. And the church pamphlets take scriptures out of our Bible to make them look good. That's what Whitey did. That's why he put his pictures in the Bible. And these people right here, didn't they put these people in the Bible? And told you that they were the children of the Lord? 
Did they not come with the Bible and murder and kill millions of people worldwide that had the Bible in their hand? And now people are waking up that this man was not the man who we say he is. Because now we got amongst us those who don't know the truth and they ain't going by sound doctrine. But what are they going by? But after their own lust shall they eat to themselves teaching and an itchy ear. Yeah, we get no lie and we're going to teach. Who, who told you to teach? You got to be elected by the most high. You got to be approved by the elders of the order of the law and the testimony and the elect of Israel for you to even get on the street to teach. And you got a lot of brothers out there on the street ain't supposed to be there. And I'm telling y'all now, as an elder, and I've been there for over 30 years teaching this body. And I don't see brothers get out there teaching uh, Cornelius is a Gentile. I don't see brothers teaching Nostradamus. I don't see brothers out there talking about white people or Israelites. And on and on and comforters, all type of matters. Because they're not going by the spirit no more. They're going by the lusts of men and doctrines of doubts. Read on, you come here. Verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. So if a man turns his ear from the law, what the law say in the Bible? <laughs> if we're teaching in the Bible, you go, no, 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 I don't believe that. You know what the Lord said? Even your prayer is an abomination. That's what he said. So if they don't believe in what this book says, leave them alone. Shake the dust on me, but then read on. God. And so he turned unto faith. And then turn the fables. You know what the fable is? God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten. This is what people believe in out here. Fables. These notorious people called so-called white Christians. Denominational churches. And there's a whole bunch of them. We're against all of them. And all false camps and all false doctrines. And the most high stands is stand in your lot, oh son of man. And we're gonna stand in our lot and we're gonna be defenders of this gospel. Anything that's contrary to truth, we're gonna put it down and burn it with fire and ripstone of the word that is. <laughs> Read on. God, verse 5. I'm an evangelist. See, that's why I became an evangelist. You know why? Read. Through the word of the evangelist, make full proof of thy name. So make full proof of this. Prove these Negroes what's in the point of your life. You talking about you're an Israelite? Okay, we're going to step to you. We're going to look at your congregation, your mannerism, and what you're teaching. Is it contrary to doctrine? Or is that what you say, brother? And that's what you better be looking out for. And we got a lot of false prophets, brothers out here with women in the camps, doctrines of devils all up inside us. But the most high told us to keep ourselves pure and wait for what? Oh, wow. Give me Psalms 14, verse 7. This is what we're waiting for. Read. Psalms chapter 14, verse 7. For he that delighteth in the law of the Lord shall be saved. So what if the salvation was not? Would we be complaining? No. Would Christ's kingdom would be here, we wouldn't have to complain. We'd be in paradise. We'd be free. All our children would be safe. All our men would be girded up. Everybody be walking in the same thing. But we ain't in that time now, are we? We in a time of derision, hypocrisies, heresies, false prophets, and doctrines of devils. We don't. God, when God will bring it back, the captivity of his people. See that? That's what it's all about. He's going to bring back the captivity of these 12 tribes of Israel.
And then, you got to be a teacher in this box. Talk about the drug of the family, drug of the family, and stop it. God, what's your bad? That's how we'd be here. We wouldn't have to complain. We'd be in paradise. We'd be free. All our children would be safe. All our men would be gunned up. Everybody be walking in the same thing. But we ain't in that time now, are we? We're in a time of derision, hypocrisies, heresies, false prophets, and doctrines of devils. We don't. Huh. When Jehovah bring it back, the captivity of his people. See that? That's what it's all about. He ain't gonna bring back the captivity of these 12 tribes of Israel written on this side right here. It's all about you, brothers and sisters of Israel now. Guess what Paul and them said? That's what they went to in these areas. They were looking to bring the people back from amongst the Gentiles because they had left the most high like our people did today on this side of the earth and became a nation and a company of nations out of this one nation called Yasha Allah. And now we got our people in every dogma of Christianity, tribal deities, and lies. Why? Why? And our job is to reach one of the city and two of a family in Jeremiah 3 to bring you back to the Lord, to turn you towards Zion. Read on, Father. Well, Jacob shall rejoice. And Jacob shall rejoice. Read on. And Israel shall be glad. And all our people are going to be glad to hear this. The ones of you that ain't joyful to be here, the ones of you that ain't glad that you're an Israelite, you should, you should be glad. Hell, we don't, the most high don't raise you up from darkness to walk in the light. He don't give you no hope. He gave you hope when you had no hope. He put the kingdom before us when before we were running around in the doctrines of devils. Now you got a vision. Now you got something to look forward to. Read on. John, that's it, my nigga. Now, uh, 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 you're coming and get me Matthew 15, 21. What did Yahweh Shah tell this woman in Canaan? I'm going to show you what the Lord says. Since everybody's saying, we're going to straighten this out, that the Lord came for everybody and he wanted to kill. No, he did not. Let's read this story in Matthew 15, 21 about Shah and what he said to this woman that ran over to him in that time. Read that, God, you're coming. You're Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. God, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 21. And your house shot went dead and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidane. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him. So she was like, no, no. And she ran over there to the shop. The shop was popular, man. Everybody was following him. He had multitudes following him. He was healing people. They touched his garment and the lady got blessed. And her disease went away. And they knew he was the son of the most high. And down on this earth, it was my life with the Romans in our land, killing us. And our other tribal members were scattered abroad cutting heads off and rolling heads in battle. So at this time, it was a terrible time on the earth. Read on. Cut him. And this he only was So he was the son of David. Why? Because his flesh was that from the tribe of David, who was from the tribe of Judah, who was from the tribes of Israel. So they knew who he was and his lineage. Read on. Uh, my daughter is pleased with me. So she said, my daughter's possessed with a demon. Yeah. She said, help me. Read. But he answered not a word. Now he said, he answered her not a word. Read. And his disciples came and destroyed him, saying, And said, get out of here. What do you mean, my Lord? You see that? The disciples knew who he was, so they went around trying to protect him. They said, Get out of here, woman. Stop bugging him. Read on. <laughs> she cried after that. Then he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the house of the house of Nasa. Will you hear that? Yahweh Shah told the woman that? 
He said, I am set except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see these people here from Judah down to Israel? That's who Yahweh Shah died for. That's who he came for. They never read this in the denominational churches. And they're not going to never tell you this because they don't know. Why did he tell that woman that? Read on. God, verse 25. Then came seek and was it filled? Say it. So, no seek. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to the toe. Then he said, Look, woman, it ain't right for me to take my spiritual power, blessings, things that I got for these sheep right here, because they're the ones that need salvation, they need redemption, and they need to be healed. And give it to you damn dogs. Now you tell me if Yahweh Shah was not nationalistic. And he was. was. And he told that woman, it ain't right to give your children's spiritual power that I got for them the gifts and give it to you, dog. Wait a minute now. God so loved the world. <coughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Give me Isaiah 46 Street. God. Let's set the record straight. You come here. <clears throat> Give me Romans 9 and 6 and 7. Romans 9, chapter 6 and 7 verse. What did the prophet Isaiah say about this? He said this in Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3. Read that, Father. Thou hearken unto me, O house of Jacob. See that, Jacob? The 12 tribes, Judah down to, uh, down to Issachar. He said, Listen to what I got to say. Read on. And all the remnant of the house of Israel. So all our people in all these camps, you part of the remnant, we're supposed to be under the same order of the Most High. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man, woman, elders, evangelists, we all supposed to be keeping the Shabbat. We all supposed to be saluting each other. We all supposed to be in the love of the Lord. If if our brothers and sisters are coming here and worship. If you do that, like it says in Ephesians, until we come together under the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, and you do that, you will do better than you're doing now. And we're doing that here at the base right now. Set the order. Read on. Which are born by me from the belly. See, from the belly. What comes out of the belly? A baby. What comes from the baby? A man's seed. So you must be an Israelite according to the seed of the flesh. You can't be a Gentile or any other nation because salvation is not for you. Read on. Which are carried from the womb. So when you came out the womb, you was a little Israelite baby from your forefathers, like it says in Job, 9, uh, Job 8 and 4. Search your forefathers. Who are your forefathers? Who are our forefathers? Let's read Romans chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. Read that, you come here. God, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 6. God is telling the word of Yahweh and taking a So now as though the word of Yahweh ain't taking effect, because it ain't taking effect, because they're not going by sound doctrine, but the prophets and the disciples of the elect gonna tell you this. Read. For they are not all Israel. So all these nations out here that came out of the lineage of Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all the way down to Shem, there's nations, Hanawama, and tribes, and people, and tongues that came out of all these lineage, this lineage. But they're not all the same. They don't have the same balance. They don't have the same blessings. They don't have the same category of being. Fire out. God. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus, right? And straighten this out. Because a lot of people are reading things and they don't understand what they read. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus of our uh, chapter 33. And let's start at verse 13. Uh, and let's let me start at verse uh, 10. Start at verse 10. Ecclesiasticus. 33, 10. Mm hmm. Ecclesiasticus chapter 33, verse 10. And all men are from the ground. And Adama was created of earth. See that? All men. What I taught y'all about the table of nations. You had men, 
and then you had the group called Adama. We were all created from the dust of the earth and out of the waters, right? But even back then, there was a category. Sons of the Most High, Adama. The wicked, sons of Cain. And what? Gahanawama, or the Gentile nations, tribes, were back then. That was in the beginning, and it's the same way now. Read on. There was knowledge. So he divided them. You hear that? In the beginning, the most high divided the nations. He set them aside. He put one group over here, one group over there, and then he chose a dollar in them. Read on. God and made their ways diverse. So we're diverse. Israel is different from the Chinese, Moabites. The Moabites are different from the Ammonites. The Edomites are a different nation than Israel. <clears throat> Everybody, the Ishmaelites, are different. We're all diverse one from another. Read on. Tom, verse 12. Some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them have he sanctified. So who was that that he sanctified? Read your scripture, you're coming. Romans 9, verse 6 and 7. <laughs> You see what it says here? Read. God, Romans chapter 9 and verse 6, I have known the word of Yahweh and taken out of faith. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham. Because Abraham was a Matamah, he brought forth all the mother nations out of the lineages, right? So then all the nations we teach you all in the table of nations came out. But he said, they're not all what? Read. Are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So then he went down. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were the three fathers of promise. Out of them came forth the children of Israel. Out of them came forth the nation of Israel with the tribes and the heritage and the promises that the Most High made to us, which we are wanting to get back in this time. During the time of Paul, let me show you what was going on over there at that time. So all people coming out that lineage because they came out of the lineage don't mean that they are the Most High's people. We don't have time, right? And sat near himself. But some of them have he cursed. Now Esau, he was cursed with leprosy in the beginning with Cain. They became what? The wicked. On this side of the earth, they came back as the seed of the wicked, as Esau the Edomites. Read on. And brought love. And some of our people look at other nations and they say why are they living like that why are they so downtrodden because the most high put them in them categories ain't nothing we can do about it get on and turn out of their places verse 13 as the clay is in a potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as likeness him best. In other words, you ain't got nothing to say. Like he told us in Romans 9 13 about Esau. He said, Jacob have I love and Esau have I hated. These so called Christians, y'all fuck out when y'all read that scripture. He said, the Lord don't hate me. I said, I just read it. Who is Esau? Because y'all worship damn Esau. Y'all reverence Esau. Y'all looking at these bastards as the children of the Lord. Do y'all know that? This man lied, these bastards, and went all over the earth, defiling the seed of Israel and changing history until this very day. This is why we got to teach the truth the way it is written so that nobody can say anything except what's written in the book. Now let's go to a scripture in 1 Maccabees chapter 1 and show you something. I got a, a precept. Come, bring it up. Come, this precept. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the Most High divided to the Adonai of God, their inheritance, mm -hmm. who separated the sails of Adonai, set the bounds of the people. According to the number of the 
children of Israel. Uh -huh. And the Bible says it was his people Y'all hear that? Y'all the ones. And if you don't like it, if you don't think you're not, not somebody, you better start thinking that you are somebody. Don't let Jesse Jackson get up there. Ah, you are somebody. You are. Who are, who are you, Jesse Jackson? Somebody. Who the, who the hell am I? No, you the seed of Israel. You are the princes and princesses of the power. Don't walk around here and act like any other way. Don't say that you ain't nobody. You are somebody. You're the most high sons and daughters. I look at you. When I see the most high sons and daughters, y'all look at each other and go, you know what? You just stop saying that, man. You are somebody. You're the children of the most high. Now, the child of God, they can tell you in the church, child of God, the children of Israel are the children of the most high. And that's what the book says, and that's what we're going to teach, brothers. So let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 13. Israel left the Lord's commandments, statutes, and joined themselves with the Hanawa mind around them. This is what the problem is when you read in the Bible about Gentiles and about the natural Gentiles. Now, I'm going to break it down to you again. And show you what that means. Let's read that uh Bible. Let's go to first Maccabees chapter one verse thirteen. Alright, first Maccabees in the Apocrypha, chapter one, verse thirteen. Then servant of the people. Now this is when the time when the Greeks came in, during the time of Alexander, Antiochus Epiphanes, what they did back then, set up their kingdom over the Jews and their land in Israel. During that time, and some of our people read, ah, were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the Hebrews. So they were breaking the commandments and the law, weren't they? What he tell you, Deuteronomy 7 don't make no marriages with them. Don't take their sons and daughters to your daughters. Don't worship their gods. Don't make no agreements with the nations around you, Israel. But Israel said, no, we don't believe this no more. So let's go to the Greeks and make a deal with them. Let's go get a license and open up a church toward Thor. Let's go get a license and open up to the God of Athena. And that's what you got in the denomination churches now. They got licenses from seminary schools, paying taxes to brainwash you into the mark of the beast. Because all that stuff come from Esau. And the people today are ignorant, like it says in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. In order for you to be enlightened, you must come back, repent, and be instructed. Oh, Yahshua. And you must come to the elect and the elders of Zion so they can teach you right. You got milkmen and liars in the camps who set themselves up in their own lusts. And they're going to be condemned for doing that. And the most I going to come through here soon and you're going to start cleaning house because he's tired of the mess. So stand in your life, brothers and sisters. Read on. Verse 14. Whereupon they built a place of exercise. Yeah, exercise. Greek exercise. Negroes running. Negroes throwing damn spears. Negroes playing basketball. Negroes playing wrestling. And you went into the Greek factions. Go to verse 43. Uh, verse 43. Yeah, yeah. Many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. See that? Many of our people went and joined up with the Greeks. That's what it first happened with the Greeks. Who is the Greeks? The Edomites. White people. So called whitey. You know why we call the white man whitey for you younger generation? Because when they used to put them clean new uniforms on from Europe and poke their eyes out like that and come in there and rape your damn woman and burn your damn house down in the south. That's why we call them white. Because they used to wear them damn white sheets and come terrorize us. Now you know, right? 
All right then, read on. God, to his religion and sacrifice unto idols. And they went into idols, like the churches are today, Sunday service, uh, gospel of the world, uh, phallus. The Lord is done away with. Oh, we are the grace. So you look at it. Look at where you're coming from. Because we escaped those churches too to come in here by the calling and high calling of Yahweh Bashem Shasha. We know. So I have a pain. So like, don't forget the fraternities and the sororities of the Greek way. Ah, they still here. The water with that, uh, brother, you come here. That's, that's awesome. You see how people, the way they conduct themselves? They're wearing the Greek fashions. They're wearing the Greek clothes. All this strange stuff from, from white. Negro women going to bed with white men. And the brothers going with a white woman. That's all Greek fashion, ain't it? And today, this is what you got. Even some of you brothers, instead of you going to camp, dressed like this, you see the robes? Down to, now, nah, y'all wear t-shirts. That's Greek fashions. The Lord said, put on your ancient garments, your turbans, put on your menorahs, put on your girdles, gird up like ancient times. Come out of the Greek fashions, by us. Because I'm going to get on you when I see you. I'm going to say, take that damn t-shirt off, put on your robes of righteousness, man, and your border of blue and your fringe. And gird up in your mind first. So where your mind at, man? You still in the Greek fashions. We don't. So you don't keep no Shabbat. This is where everybody's supposed to be in the beginning. When you come in there, learn the commandments and the foundation. So you won't come in and say, what you doing? We keep in the Shabbat. We keep the commandments. Brother, no, you cannot commit adultery. No, brother, you can't have 15 wives. You can't be a woman. No, brother, you better not mess up our sisters. You better marry each and every one of them and be qualified to marry them. That's law, man. That's order. Three. John, verse 44. For the king had a letter, has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem. And they came to us back then, and they said, hey, they accept the Greek, Greek colonialism. Oh, yeah, let's go down there. Read on. And the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange law of the Lord. See, that, that was a big mistake. I told y'all, man, our forefathers messed up something, man. And they wanted to follow these strange customs or these damn heathens. Read on. John, verse 45. And forbid burnt offerings. So they stopped burnt offerings, which was lawful. Read on. And sacrifices. The sacrifices, which were lawful. Read on. In the temple. And the temple of Solomon that was built at that time. Read on. And that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. So wait a minute. Uh, didn't we just celebrate the Gagaka? Now we got Purim coming up. And then we got the Halaha. When Negroes go to church, what do they go to church for? Easter. Sunday service. Wait a minute. Is that of the Most High? Or is that the gods of the nations? The Hanabo Mouse. That ain't the most high doings. That's the, uh, the powers of the That's why Paul said, uh, the gods of this world have deceived you who know not the truth. And you still following their promiscuous ways and their evil, wicked ways. What about this filthy thing they just said on TV? The three kings. <laughs> We're turning the Bible to worship no damn king except the Yahweh Shah, King of King and Lord of Lords and the Lords of Lords. Huh? Tell you the Bible about Yahweh Shah. Don't tell you about no three kings. Hell, I ain't no king. I'm a priest. So you don't worship no damn three kings. That's a Latin blasphemy down there in the, in the South America, Central and South American islands of the sea. That they made up because people came and paid homage to your hollow shot back then. You don't worship that. It's garbage. Read on. Verse 46. And pollute the sanctuary. And holy people. So our people are polluting with Gentile influences right now. You're polluting your mind. You're polluting your bodies. You eat pork 
shrimp, lobster, crab, your baggage, your lesbians, and look at all women today. Damn, ball headed dykes on TV. That ain't Israelite culture. We don't acknowledge that. And you faggot, punk ass niggas, sodomites, no, we don't deal with you either. We're men, men of your hollow, and a faggot and a lesbian will be put to death. And that's part of the African American LGBT community, so called Adma, is it? But you ain't gonna find it amongst the elective Israel. We put it down because it's against the law. Read on. Verse 48 that they shall also leave their children. And their children, look at our children today. Read on. Oh, so I get verse 47. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh. See that? Eat pork. That's why a lot of y'all got high blood pressure, rheumatism, arthritis. You're an abomination. You eat pork, you go to bed with the nations, your families and lesbians, and you race mixing. And you're worshiping the most high in sacrilege now. And you're not worshiping the most high. You're worshiping the gods of this world, which is Satan's emissaries, a white man and the powers that be. Read on. And unclean beasts. And unclean beasts. You eat pork, you eat shrimp, you eat lobster. Over there in China, they were eating dogs. What did that cause? An outbreak of coronavirus worldwide. Because dogs got viruses in their bodies, and they're going to bed with dogs too. And it caused a worldwide plague, and the most I ain't finished yet. You wait till the rest of the plagues come in Revelations. It's going to be hell on this earth. Read it. Verse 48, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Well, they left the most high's beautiful laws and statues of life to turn towards evil and to become abominations, faggots, Romans, cut up your bed. Uncircumcise your rod. Don't keep the commandments. Be a faggot. Be a damn idol worshiper, sorcerer, and devil worshippers. That's what we did. Read on. God and proclamation. Verse 49. To the end, they might forget the law. See that? They forgot the laws. Y'all hear that? That's what Israel did. We forgot the laws. Let's go to Acts 18 and 1. You come here. We forgot the laws. That's why Paul and them was manifested. That's why they had them seven churches in Asia Minor. In our series, they went up in Greece to find Jews who were up in this area. Let's find out what they found when they went to this area in Greece. Read Acts 18, chapter and verse 1. Read that. You come here. Uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 18. Uh, after these doings are departed from Athens. So during this time, Paul <clears throat> departed from Athens, Greece. He went to this area called Corinth. This is an area up in here. This is where the seven churches were. So when they went there, what did they find? Read. Really? A who? A certain Jew. Wait a minute. A Jew in, in Rome? Yeah. They left during the time of the Maccabees. Some of our people went up there. And they kept some of them kept the laws. That's why I said some. Not all. Read on. Uh, and found a certain Jew named Aquila. Born in Pontus. Lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. So he wanted the Jews out of Rome. He said, Get these people out of here, let them go. Read on. They changed unto them. Verse 3. And because he was of the same class, he arose with them in Rome. See, they were tent makers, common people. Read on. 
sitting in the synagogue every Shabbat and persuade Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timothy, Timothy would come from Macedonia, all over the So when he said Jews and Greeks, meaning Israelites that were keeping customs of the law and the Grecians, there were Israelites that were white of the despoiler and they were trying to get them to come back in. He wasn't talking to natural Greeks. These were Grecians from the despoiler. Then you had the Jews that were keeping the laws. So they were also there too. He was trying to persuade them about the woo, about my shot shot, right on. Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Yahweh's God was my shotgun. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his brain. He said, look, he was in there, and then they said, no, 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 we don't believe in him. No, no, no. He said, you know what? Y'all blaspheming, and you got a group in there of Greeks and Jews that keep it along, but they didn't believe in him, my shotgun. Their mind frame was twisted. So he said, you know what? I'm shaking the dust on y'all. Read it. And he said unto them, Your blood be upon my own head. I am clean from this blood. He said, I'm going to go to the Gentiles. St. John 7.35 of Thalva. What Gentiles? Let's go to St. John 7.35. Mashasha was talking about Gentiles amongst the Gentiles. He was talking about Israelites that were amongst these people, not natural Gentiles. He said, look, since I came to y'all, I'm going to go to the other tribes of Israel, to disperse of Israel, because y'all not accepting this. That's what we do. We go to all our people of Israel, dispersing these areas. So we're following the same steps. Read that, Tava. God, St. John, chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews among, among themselves, Where will he go? Well, God was preaching to him. He said, Where, where are you going to go? Man. God, that we shall not find him. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? He said, Will he go to disperse amongst the Gentiles? The word Gentile and nation mean the same thing in Hebrew. Hanawama. Now it is like people. Who's that at the time? Romans. He said, Will you go to the dispersed amongst the nations, read? God, and teach the Gentiles. And teach the other nations, meaning, let's go to Genesis, you're coming, 35, verse 10. Israel was prophesied to be a nation under the 12 tribes and dispersed into little nations outside of Israel, but they still the seed of Jacob. Do y'all understand that? They still the seed of Israel. Even though they call themselves these different names, they are Israelites by nationality. That's who we go on to. The 12 tribes that are lost in Matthew 10, 5, and 6. In James chapter 1, verse 1. Read that. Oh, uh, you're coming. Uh, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 35, and verse 10. And Yahweh said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Yahshua shall be thy name. So the Most High changed our forefather Jacob's name. Remember, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the three fathers of promise. All the mother nations were chosen with us. Then he said, your name ain't going to be called Jacob no more, or Yaquab, but he's going to be called Yasha Allah. So when he had his 12 sons, y'all will call Yasha Allah, meaning the princes of the power. We know. And he called his name Yasha Allah. And Yahweh said to him, Yahweh Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be a king. Now y'all understand what he's saying? When we came out of Egypt, we were the 12 tribes. When we broke up and split up, our people went amongst the Gentiles, 
and became a nation and a nation of nations. Now you understand what he meant by he's going to the Gentiles. Now you're going to understand what he said in Ephesians 2.11. Get that real quick, Father Rob. Go to Ephesians 2.11. What did Paul and him mean by this? Get wisdom, but get understanding. Read. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye, being in time past, Gentiles, in the flesh. So Paul said, look. He went to the ones that believed in Yahweh Shah and set up these seven churches. We're going to continue with that series. He said, Before Yahweh Gentiles in the flesh, meaning you took on these damn nations' ways. Read on. God in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised. So you were following uncircumcised ways during the time of the Maccabees. Read. God by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Verse 12, that at that time ye, ye were without Mashasha being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. That's why he went to the lost sheep of house of Israel and told him, you the Israelites, y'all got uncircumcised, you got to come back to your commonwealth of being the Israelites. That's what we're telling y'all the same thing. Y'all might even call all these different tribal names. Now we're finding out we're the Israelites in the commonwealth of Israel. Like Paul and them went up to these people up here of Israel, amongst the Hanabamas, they were the seed of Yahshua Allah according to the flesh. And we don't care what you call yourselves. In the eyes of the Most High and us, you the Israelites. We see <laughs> Read on. God, commonwealth of Israel, and, and strangers from the covenant. And you were strangers from the covenants. A lot of y'all didn't know about Abraham. You didn't know about Isaac. You didn't know about Jacob. You didn't know about the kingdom coming. You didn't know anything. And same thing happened to them back then. Read it. God, of promise, having no hope, and without Yahweh. So our people didn't have your hollow in the world. The ones in the church ain't got your hollow, do they? They got the gods of this world and the doctrines of the mark of the beast. And we got to reach some of them to try to help save them and persuade them. Read on. Verse 13. But now in Mashasha, ye who sometimes were far off are made Send his son to die for you. You understand? Because we were the ones giving the commandments and we broke the commandments. So, in order for the nation not to be destroyed, he sent his dear son to die for all of us. And that's the office of Yahweh Shah and no one else that you look up to for salvation. You know? Contained in ordinances for two men. In himself a twin, one new man, so so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto Yahweh in one body. See that making reconciliation unto Yahweh in one body. This is how we coming back in this time. Because Yahweh Shah already sacrificed himself. What do we gotta do? Bring ourselves here for counsel, commandments, and gather together. Get that in the scriptures when it says, Gather yourself together, O nation not desire. Repent, as it says in Mark 1 14 and 15. 
This is what the Lord is calling you for. Repentance. Coming from amongst the Gentiles. Those of you that were without the hollow shy of this world, from the commonwealth of Israel, and the enmity between us breaking the commandments and the covenant, now you got peace with the Most High and reconciliation through his dear son. And what do you want us to do? Read that in the Bible. Because this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verse 1. See that? You the nation that's not designed as well. From Judah down to Issachar. Nobody gives a damn about us. Nobody cares about what happened to us. He said, gather yourself together under me and my son in these last days so you can be saved. Read on. Before the decree, read on. Before the third world's war come, you must acknowledge this, repent, and gather yourself together, O nation not designed. So you come, y'all, blow your horn. This is what the Most High is talking about. And it's time. So we say, Kwam Yasha Allah and Shabbat Allah Allah to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel who have heard this biblical message today. And we will see you on the open forum this Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Shalom Allah Allah and Kwam Yasha Allah. Peace be on you.